Hi guys, this is biology lesson 4.04. We're going to do this in two parts. This is photosynthesis. So to start off with, I'm going to ask you a question that I'd like you to pause the video and I want you to write out everything that you can think of and we're going to write in this area over here to the right of photosynthesis. So we've already talked about uh, a lot, quite a bit about photosynthesis, what type of process it is, where it takes place, what it does. So, uh, and try to do this from memory. So go ahead and pause the video and write out everything that you can remember that we've already talked about with photosynthesis. Okay, so I did the same. And this is everything that we've talked about. So we talked about the fact that the whole purpose for photosynthesis is to make glucose. It takes place in the chloroplast uh, in photoautotrophs. It's an anabolic process where we're taking small compounds and building them up into a big compound. And we even wrote out the equation. So um, the only thing about this equation that bothers me a little bit as a chemistry teacher is that this is a non-balanced equation. You'll notice you have six carbon here, but you have one here. We do something in chemistry called balancing. So we actually have to put numbers in front to make it even. So we'd have six H2O, so six water molecules combined with six carbon dioxide in the presence of light to form a glucose molecule and oxygen molecules. Well, the other thing is uh, that what we haven't talked about is the fact that photosynthesis occurs in two phases. There's two different parts to photosynthesis, and we need to understand both parts. I'm going to bring my camera down a little bit here. Uh -oh. <clears throat> and the names of those phases, so phase number one is the light reactions, and phase number two is the Calvin cycle. And what I want to do in this video in part one is talk about the light reactions. Let me talk a little bit about the diagram before we get too far in and, and explain to you what all of these arrows mean. So these arrows all indicate something is either coming in or going out or getting traded. And uh, we're going to fill this in as we go, but this is to help you remember what happens and where it happens. So I'm going to do a little bit of a dashed line here. And up here, we're going to talk about the light reactions. And down here, we're going to talk about the Calvin cycle. Sometimes the Calvin cycle is called the dark reactions. That doesn't mean it can only happen in the dark. That means it can happen without light. So the light reactions have to have light. Well, that makes sense, right? There it is right there. The Calvin cycle, the dark reactions, they do not have to have light. They can actually take place during the day, but do not have to have light. So I start off and I'm going to kind of number as we go. So I'm going to try to color code my steps. Let's talk about where this is taking place first, though. So let's talk about uh, where. So we're in. These both take place in the chloroplast, but specifically the light reactions take place in the thylakoid membranes. In the thylakoid membranes of chloroplasts. Thylakoid membranes of chloroplasts. And we have something special in those membranes. So this is the PAL. Um, you know what, I'm going to switch to green. We have special compounds in those thylakoid membranes called pigments. A pigment is a compound that can trap solar energy. 
in its atoms, its atoms respond to the sunlight in a certain way uh, so that um, uh, it can release the energy to do other things. So the most common pigment that we have, uh, so let me do a kind of a bullet point underneath this, is called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. And chlorophyll happens to be green. That's why leaves are green. Yeah, there's actually different kinds of chlorophyll, chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B. We're not going to worry about that so much. But in the thylakoid membrane, so this, this is what this represents. The light, this is the thylakoid membrane. We have these pigments. Now you may have to write off to the side. This probably won't show up on yours. We have our thylakoid membrane, we have our pigments. There are other pigments, um, and I'm going to write them in the colors that they are. So we have carotene, which is a yellow orange. So right now I'm looking out my window and the tree uh, in front of me is half green and half yellow orange. Well, what's happened is the days are getting shorter and so the trees go into uh, dormancy. They know they're not going to need to do photosynthesis anymore. The chlorophyll begins to break down and what's left behind is this carotene. That's why leaves turn color. There's other ones. There's a, a xanthophyll, I believe. Um, there's some that are more red. And so that's that's where our leaves get our color in the fall. So we're going to go step by step. Let's um, over here to the side, like write the steps of the light reactions. So step one. Light enters the thylakoid membrane. And the pigments trap the energy. We're just going to talk about chlorophyll. So the chlorophyll traps the energy. So what we see here is our step one and two. The light's coming in and it's getting trapped. This is where our first, remember back when we did reactions, we talked about reactants and products. So um, for my equation, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll. So I'm going to go back up to the top. So here's my equation. These are the reactants. And these are the products. Water, plants take up water through the roots. It comes in through hollow portions of the stem. Um, and there's also a whole, uh, openings in the leaves called stomata where we can take in and out um, gases and the leaf can uh, release excess moisture. So one way or the other, we, we get water, H2O, comes into the membranes. So that's the next thing that happens, number three. And I'm going to write uh, TM for thylakoid membrane. So this is step number three. To make things less confusing, let's put this as a capital A and a capital B. So A is light reaction, B is Calvin cycle. The next thing that happens is kind of cool. So the pigments use that stored energy to break water into two. Pigments use the stored energy to split the water.
we don't want the oxygen. The oxygen is waste. And so the reason this arrow indicates out is the oxygen goes away. The oxygen is given off as waste. So what happens to the hydrogen? Well, that's interesting. So the hydrogen is used to produce two compounds. And I'm going to switch to purple. So we have coming out of these light reactions, the two compounds that the hydrogen gets to do. The hydrogen helps make ATP and something called NADPH. So the last thing that happens is hydrogen, actually, that's not technically correct. I should do H plus. I think I'm out of whiteout. Shoot, different one. Hydrogen is used to create ATP and NADPH. Now, I don't want to talk about, I'm going to wait till part two. We're going to start off in part two talking about what these guys are. But remember our energy flow. So let's put numbers here. So we've got, uh, we're, um, the water comes in. So here, number four, the water gets split. Five, the oxygen is given off. And six, we send uh, these, com these compounds to the next part of photosynthesis. Let's sum this up. We said an anabolic reaction takes small molecules like this and turns them into bigger molecules and it requires energy input. And that's exactly what we have. We've got energy coming in and we're in the process of turning this, what's gonna come down at the end is glucose. Oxygen is just kind of along for the ride. We don't need it, so we get rid of it. But, where we're going to pick up then is, uh, so this, these are high energy chemicals. So here we got, we've turned solar energy into chemical energy. And in case you're wondering, one of your questions might be, wait, I thought we made ATP in the mitochondria. We do. We only make a tiny little bit here and it's going to get used up down here. So in the mitochondria for every glucose molecule, we're making 32 ATP. So when we talk about making ATP, that is in the mitochondria. But let's, let's go over takeaways here. So what should you have uh, pulled out? First of all, we reviewed, we reviewed uh, what we already knew. Two, we talked about uh, some more details about the thylakoid membranes and pigments. And then three, we went through the steps of the light reactions. So everything here are the light reactions. And we said that in the whole process, so if we're going to summarize the light reactions, this is where we turn solar energy into chemical energy. So we're actually trapping the light. And then finally, we went over some of the, um, um, we went to do go with this, we went over the energy flow. So those are the things you should be able to take away and talk about after today. And we'll do the dark reactions and talk about NAD. Um, NAD, is it NADH or, yeah, NADPH in the next video. All right, thanks for watching.